It is easy to understand how large-scale mining sites are so susceptible to erosion. The lack of vegetation is stark. As sites are developed and support more infrastructure, engineers need to protect against the movement of water. In this instance, geotextiles and geocells are being used to protect a bridge abutment. In this instance, drainage pipes are used under the road to protect it against damage during floods. The geocells will prevent scour around the drainage pipes, adding further strength to the road. The geocell performs the same role alongside this railway. Again, a geotextile is used underneath the geocell as a filtration and separation layer. All these solutions help ensure the mine keeps operating. Any breakdown in key infrastructure comes at a very high cost. Any movement of water down a slope will cause erosion. Engineers can contain this with the use of drainage channels. Geotextiles can be used to enable rapid revegetation of naked slopes. In some cases, all that is needed to protect infrastructure is revegetation of the immediate area. In this instance, to prevent erosion of an embankment which is supporting a conveyor system. When a mine closes, surrounding areas must be returned to a stable and self-sustaining condition. Generally, this is through revegetation. A number of different geosynthetic products are often used in modern drainage and revegetation solutions. These could be geotextiles, biodegradable fibres such as jute, and coir and drainage composites. The focus on erosion applications unit in this series deals with the use of such products in more detail. When a slope is left unremediated, the topsoil layer is left and vegetation will never properly establish. This could be localised or on a very broad scale. Revegetation of slopes and protection of the topsoil can be achieved through the use of geosynthetics known as erosion control blankets. These blankets can be biodegradable or synthetic. Synthetic products are used in higher flow areas or where vegetation has a greater challenge to establish. Drainage solutions that protected the mine during operations are often left in place after decommissioning, as large volumes of water still have the potential to damage the remediated site. When a mine closes, the engineer needs to deal with the waste containment structures used during the mine's working life. By capping the waste containment structures, such as tailings dams, their contents are not left exposed. The capped structures must be protected from ongoing environmental conditions. Rainwater cannot be allowed to infiltrate through the capping layer and cause overflow and leakage of hazardous liquids. Gas must be allowed to escape in a controlled way. Geomembranes and geosynthetic clay liners can be used to cap waste facilities. This reduces the need for large volumes of other materials such as clay, which is not often available on site. The unit, Focus on the Containment Function, in this series, deals with the use of such geosynthetic products for capping in more detail. Exposed tailings dams can be very dangerous. The surface is very weak and the contents hazardous.
any capping system needs to address settlement of the tailings dam surface. Geosynthetic products are also used in underground mining. Many of the concerns we have dealt with so far in this unit have been around open cut mines and above ground activities. Underground mining activities present a new set of challenges for design engineers, particularly around safety. The risk of being killed in mining is nearly six times greater than general industry, and the risk of injury is twice as great as other industries. Mining companies invest heavily to reduce these statistics. Solutions need to be found to control rockfall. Products used underground require special characteristics to remain safe in this unique environment. Over the years, geosynthetic products have been tailored to suit the underground environment, particularly around lightweight rockfall control. In such environments, traditional solutions such as welded wire mesh are stronger than required for the task. A geosynthetic geogrid offers a lighter weight, easier to handle, less expensive solution. These variations of geogrids designed for use underground must be made from anti-static, flame retardant and self-extinguishing material. High strength geogrids are also used for long wall screens in underground coal mines. Underground miners work in confined spaces. Apart from large rock falls and collapses, the exposed underground surface may have the occasional rock spall. Smaller rocks, as large as a fist, may separate from the wall's surface. Lighter weight geogrids are used to contain rock spalls on tunnel sides and roofs. Geosynthetic materials have become integral components in the design and performance of mining facilities. We have explored various functions within the mining industry, including ground support, retaining structures, containment, environmental and underground. For each of these functions, we have seen how geosynthetic products can provide engineers with new, cost-effective options for their designs. Thanks to the following companies which supplied images or contributed to the development of this unit. This lecture series was funded and created by International Fibre Centre, TTNA, the Monash Geomechanics Group at Monash University. Thank you.